I started off by putting down pure cobalt teal blue shade on the paper to see what the full strength of the colour is. I brushed it in lazily. Most of the beginning brush strokes are done lazily here, as it's just to mark down the rough whereabouts of the scene elements, like the side rows of buildings, the road and pavement. I needed to build perspective as early as possible to help myself paint a believable scene, as if the viewer is actually stood on the street, and so I began to paint guiding rows of shades of blue that outline the windows from foreground to background. I did feel this bit to be the most daunting, but eventually it came together bit by bit. The closest windows will be the clearest, the ones further back shrouded in mist. In this video I wanted to describe my thought process throughout, and this includes where I change my mind. I initially wanted to make this door stand out with its glow by using a palette knife, but then I decided I wanted the glow to be more subtle, and that I'd instead later highlight the road reflections and right side window lights with the palette knife. I also decided to change the door glow from pink to a warm yellow, as it gives the scene a slight variety in colour, separating it from the distant pink glow from traffic. And also to me, it felt more realistic that the light from an indoor venue would be a more typical interior warm white or yellow. This is where I used a palette knife to highlight the lights on the right side shop windows. As fun as it was, I had to be careful to limit the amount of lights I added, as sometimes less is more. I then began adding more reflections to the road with a palette knife, which I love doing. It's one of the first times I've ever used a palette knife, and somehow it felt like it added an extra dimension to the painting process. At this point, my focus just turned to the actual joy I felt from seeing how the paint reacted on the canvas, and it served as a reminder to myself that, no matter what art you're trying to create, and this applies to anyone out there who makes art, it's finding that joy in your art what can really set you free. Here I decided I wanted to remove part of the road reflection, as I didn't see any obvious source of light to cause that specific reflection, and it also helped to emphasise the reflections beside it. And this is where I started to paint the silhouette of a person walking across the road. The original photo included quite a few people on the crossing and pavement, including someone who was walking along the road itself towards the traffic. Although this worked from a photo perspective, I did not feel this would work the same way as a painting, and so I chose to simplify this part and include just one person in the painting. This served to make them the main focus and also retain more visibility of the background which I liked enough to want to see more of, with less people to obscure the backdrop. I used the corners of a fan brush to apply very light dabs of paint to indicate snow. I chose a fan brush for this because the structure of its bristles are delicate and unpredictable, making every brush stroke more likely to be unique, in the hopes that the snow effect would turn out more realistic. I used the most minimal amount of paint on the bristles here, so that the snow would have a blurry and misty effect that was especially important the further up towards the sky, where the mist was strongest. I felt it added to the more impressionistic style of the painting. Thank you for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.